here there is one important terminology which is slack so just remember at this point that slack for the setup analysis is slack is nothing but required required time minus the arrival time and required time is nothing but defined by the timing constant like a clock period and arrival time is nothing but the time the data arrives at the end point of the timing path so for the setup analysis the slack calculations will be required time minus arrival time and for the hold analysis the slack will be arrival time minus required time so we will see in details what is the arrival time and what is the required time in both the cases in the setup case as well as in the hold case in the next slides and always remember that positive slack slack indicates that path is meeting the timing and the negative slack indicates that paths do not meet the timing requirement so to meet the timing requirement our slack should always be positive okay now let's see all these things in more details so here first we are going to analyze the setup requirement for a register to register timing path so here you can see that this is the launch flop and here we have the capture flop so the data is launched from the start point of the launch flop which is clock fin and it will end at the data pin of the capture flip flop okay so data is launched so here we are saying that clock raise one clock raise one is nothing but the register one clock and clock raise two is the register two clock okay so the data is launched as the at the positive edge of this clock raise one of the launch flip flop so here the data will be launched and as we have already discussed in one of our previous chapter the data will be captured at the next clock edge of the capture flop so the data will be captured at this clock edge so this check is nothing but called a setup check and we have the clock period this is our clock periods and data is captured at this clock edge and data is launched at this this clock edge okay now the requirement here is the setup requirement here is the delay the clock to queue delay the clock to queue delay of the launch flip flop plus this combinational delay this delay should be less than clock period minus ka t setup what does it mean is when the data is launched at here at this clock edge the data will take some time which is clock to queue delay plus some combinational delay okay so this total delay for example this is our total delay so this delay should be less than this is the time period t so here it completes one clock time minus t setup so if this is our t setup this time is t setup okay so t minus t setup this complete is our this complete time is t clock period is t so t minus ka t setup that is nothing but this so this data which is launched from the launch flip flop should reach at 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 or before t minus ka t setup which is this part so this is our setup requirement here if you see the clock to queue delay plus combinational delay should be less than clock period minus t setup now this is remember always this is an important equation so from here we can also determine that what would be the minimum clock period so here clock period should greater than clock to queue delay plus combinational delay plus t setup so this is very important interview questions that what is the maximum what is the minimum time period or what is the maximum frequency in order to meet the setup requirement so here our t should be greater than clock to queue delay plus combination delay plus t setup so now let's see what is the required and arrival time as we read in the previous slide so the required time okay the required time is this one so what the setup requirement so setup, setup requirement here is saying is the data should reach before clock period minus ka t setup 
so this is our requirement so the data should reach before this point this point is nothing but t minus ka t setup okay so the require time is clock period minus ka t setup of register 2 remember the t setup of register 2 this is our require time and what is the actual arrival time the arrival time is nothing but the actual time the data will take to propagate from the time the rising edge happens and when it finally reaches at the the data input pin of the flip flop so the arrival time here is clock to q delay clock to q delay of the register 1 plus this combination delay so this is our arrival time now the slack is this is nothing but called slack this is our slack okay the arrival time the data has arrived at this point and the actual time before that the data should arrive which is nothing but required time it's this one this point so this point this 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 value is nothing but slack so slack is nothing but our required time which is nothing but t minus uh, t setup minus arrival time which is t clock to q delay plus combination delay so hope this setup requirement for register to register path is clear now let's see the hold requirement for register to register path okay so as we already know that when the data is launched at this clock age so this is the clock register 1 so data is launched at the rising age of clock register 1 and this data will be captured at the register 2 rising edge clock so this is the rising edge clock for register 2 so as we have already discussed the hold check is done at the same clock age so the data is launched at the this age of clock register 1 and the the, the, the register 2 has the clock age 2 clock as a clock port so at the same at, at the corresponding rising edge of the clock register 2 at this point the rising edge of the clock register 2 we will have to do the hold check so the hold check is done at the same clock age at which the data is launched okay so now so the definition of the hold time says that the data should be stable for t hold time after the clock age okay so for example this is this is our t hold time okay so this is our t hold time this one so for this much time for this much time the data at d pin should be stable that means whatever the data launched at this clock age should not reach at this d pin before the t hold time of this flip flop this is the meaning of hold requirement okay now the data which is launched at this clock age how much time it will take to travel from this d pin to the next d pin it will take the clock to q delay plus this combination logic delay so this is the time this data will take so this time this time should be greater than t hold time of this flip flop so t the clock to q delay plus combinational delay should be greater than hold check so hold check the meaning of this is nothing but the at the instance or at the point where you are doing the hold check so by default the hold check is done at the same clock age okay so in that particular case the hold check zero value is zero because we are doing at the same clock age there is no difference between this rising edge there is no timing difference between this rising edge and the clock register to rising edge so in here we are not basically including any clock skew and all we are doing the hold check at zero instance that means we are saying that there is no time difference between the two register clock basically um, there is no time difference between these two register clock point the clock rising edge is happening at the same time okay so the hold check at zero so the, the value the time time value for the hold check at zero is by default it is zero without including any skew and all and this is the t hold time so 
the clock to q delay plus combination delay in this particular case actually should be greater than t hold of the register 2. This is the hold requirement for register to register path. Okay. Now let's see what is the required time in this case. So the required time is nothing but what we have to make sure for the hold requirement that the data which is launched from the launch flop should not reach at the D input of this capture flip flop before the T hold time. Before the T hold time of this flip flop. So here we are assuming that there is no clock skew. No, no clock skew, no clock uncertainty kind of things. So in that particular case, we only have the T hold time. So this is our required time. Required timing hold check zero. So by default, we are taking it zero without any clock skew and all, and the T hold time. So the required time is nothing but this T hold time. And what is the actual time? The actual time or arrival time is nothing but clock to Q delay plus this combinational logic gate delay. Now here, just analyze here that the concept here is the delay, the clock to Q delay plus this combinational logic delay should be greater than this T hold time in order to meet the hold requirement. So here our hold slack will be arrival time minus required time. It is opposite of the setup slack. Here always remember that our arrival time should be more than the required time. So to make the slack positive, we have to subtract from subtract required time from the arrival time okay so and remember default hold check is at zero the zero is mere meaning meaning is zero instance of this clock 